Okay. This is our okra. This is our okra video. Okra likes it nice and hot. The hotter it is, the more they thrive. And they're very prolific producers. So you don't want to overplant okra like we did the first year and throw, throw away or give away 90% of it. So we grow one row between the two of us. This is all we can eat for a year. And um, we plant it in the spring. And we plant them about eight inches apart. If you look up close, you can see see how far apart they've been planted. This is a Clemson okra variety. And the best time to cut, uh, cut them is when they're three to five inches long. And which is going to mean you're going to be cutting them every day. So I cut these yesterday. They come out, you see the little yellow blooms here. They're gonna to bloom today. They're gonna have a beautiful bloom. And these these blooms will bloom every day. You'll see them, a big yellow flower with a purple face in the middle. And everywhere you get a flower, you get another okra. And that's every day. That whole row, as soon as the sun comes up the rest of the way, they'll, they'll open, they're very pretty. So you come out, get ready to cut your okra. You look for the ones that are yeah these are kind of small here they're about three or four inches long here's one here now see this is a perfect size okra you don't want to take your you don't want to rip them off the plant and just injure the plant so what you want to do is get you some snippers and you cut them and this is how you want it that right there what I do and step in the beans is I uh, I cut these I don't blanch them I don't do anything to them I take them in the house and I put them in a vacuum seal and I, I seal the bag up with about 30 of these in it and put it in the freezer and whenever I get ready to have okra pop it out thaw it out cut it up and enjoy and let me go through and get some of this It's grown quite a bit overnight. I leave the little ones and you come back and get them the next day. So you just get the ones that are good enough to cut. You just have to keep up with it because if you don't cut them when they're ready to cut and they grow another day, they'll be too big and they become very tough. And they're they're not fit to eat. So at that point, they're trying to. These are basically the seed pods. Now, what you can do is let some of these. You can pick up like the last three or four plants, and don't pick them anymore at the end of the season, and just let the pods grow as big as they want to grow. They'll grow huge, and you let them dry out, and then you can pick a big one and you can shake it you'll hear the seeds inside of it and then you shuck them out of the seed pod and save the seeds and you have seeds for next year you don't have to go buy seeds again put them in a jar put the seeds in a jar and save them till the next spring here's one I missed like the, yesterday Yesterday this one was about this big and today it's this big and see if you miss them That's what happens. It's still soft and tender, but another day that thing wouldn't be fit to eat You got to kind of look closely and Myself, I'm I'm pretty colorblind. So I have a trouble seeing them uh, Laying against the stems in here And I don't see them Nancy comes behind me all the time taking the ones I miss. This row is 
only 45 feet long. Our garden's only 45 feet by 55 feet. And we get enough vegetables out of that square footage that we feed us, Nancy's mother, Nancy's aunt and uncle, and plenty of, plenty of people that come by to stop and say hello. We usually send them on their way with a, a basket full of fruit, uh, vegetables. We don't sell any vegetables or anything like that, but we like to bless other people with fresh vegetable oil. Okay, that was quickly going through one row. And I got that much okra. That's, that's enough for a couple of meals. We like it fried. We like it cooked down with some fresh tomatoes over some rice. I use it in, uh, I use the okra in dirty rice. And sometimes well, I put it in, cut it up and put it in some of our vegetable soups. So that's our okra. And, uh, like we always say, by his hands, hands we, we are, are fed. fed. Give us Lord our daily bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.